The seed for Firelinx was planted in 1993 in Las Vegas, where we designed and implemented the pyrotechnic control system for the Buccaneer Bay battle at Treasure Island. A couple of weeks after the show opened, we got a call that the unthinkable had happened. Two actors had been injured by an unattended ignition of a pyrotechnic device beneath their feet. Fortunately, they recovered, but this shouldn't have happened. I got on a plane that day and I spent over a week in Las Vegas trying to figure out how this had happened. It turned out that the local staff had made a pair of seemingly harmless modifications, accidentally introducing a pair of ground faults. They had created an un unintended electrical path through the earth that made it possible for the shot underneath of the actor's feet to go off when an intentionally commanded shot was uh, initiated far away. We realized that this could happen to anyone. It could even happen using a modern pyrotechnic control system implemented by the best operators, completely knowledgeable about how they should be implementing the system, following the best practices of the NFPA standards. And it does happen. People in the pyrotechnic business understand that occasionally it happens, and so they just take extra care. But we knew that a system could be designed that would prevent that from happening, and it should be. So in the years since, we were many times employed to develop a wraparound control system that would add additional safeties that would augment the safeties in a commercially available pyrotechnic control system so that it could be used in close proximity to people. But we knew that those safeties should be implemented within the product itself so it would be safe out of the box. We set out to do that. We created a technical solution that eliminates the ground fault problem, eliminates other faults that can be introduced by miswiring at the time that the system is set up. And at the same time, we joined the NFPA Technical Committee on Special Effects so that we could influence the wording of the standard to make it, uh, it require the sorts of things that would keep the system safe from the beginning. The breakthrough with the FireLink system is that it required changing the NFPA standard, allowing us to bring to market a system that solves those safety issues. FireLink is the only pyrotechnic control product to exceed these best practices that are now suggested by the NFPA. It's a result of a decades-long effort to both change the standards language and design a safer solution. FireLinks provides for fault checking, instantaneous electrical match continuity checks, which we trademark CrewSafe, patented wireless communication, and additional features that are not available on any other firing system. Our focus is always on safety for guests and those working in the entertainment industry, and FireLinks is a landmark step toward making a safer industry for all.